Here's the supplies you're going to need for today's mirror lab. So your instructions, piece of cardboard, and it helps to have a second piece of cardboard. You'll see why that is the case soon. Some tape to hold your paper to the cardboard so it doesn't move around. Some stick pins, a pencil, a couple of nails, a ruler, a mirror, and a mirror stand. On the page that says 30, I'm going to read about ray tracing. So it says here, stick a pin vertically into a piece of paper resting on a sheet of soft cardboard. This will be the object pin. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. I've put a pin in and now that is my object pin. And now I'm going to use sighting pins to align. So I'm going to just put a pin in the board at some random location and then I'm going to align the pins so that they line up and I'll put a third pin so you can see now these all are in a straight line. Now I'm going to do it again from a different location. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. There we go. Now you can see I've got the pins. There's my object pin right there. So I'm going to mark that object pin and then I'm going to connect with my ruler those dots, those dots, and those dots. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. And you can see all three sight lines or all three lines of sight, they intersect at the location of the object. So we can use a similar method to find out where is an image behind a mirror located. Let's try it. Begin by taking a piece of paper and attaching it to a piece of cardboard using tape. We're going to use the line that runs down the middle of the page. Take your mirror and attach the stand so that the mirror aligns right on that line. So that the edge of the mirror is right on that line. Then we're going to set our object pin. So somewhere in front of the mirror, it's best to pick a location that's kind of far away. Go ahead and stick a pin in. You can see I'm using two pieces of cardboard. That allows you to stick the pin in a little further even. And I'm going to mark that as my object pin. There's my object pin. Now I'm going to use image pins to find the path that the light is taking. So I'm going to get my eye right along the edge of the table like this. And I'm going to close one eye so that I'm looking through just one eye Make sure that mirror is aligned and the very first one you'll want to set is the, where the scratch is. So take your first sighting pin and put it right where that scratch is, right in front of it and poke it into the paper. And now take a third pin, your second sighting pin, and with, while you're aligning those two pins, you're going to find where the reflection of the third pin makes a straight line so that when you're looking in the mirror it looks like all three of these pins are in a straight line. Okay, now don't forget that's where the, the scratch is so in case your mirror moves accidentally you can put it back in place because I know that pin right there is where the scratch is. Okay, now we're going to do it two more times. I'm going to pick another spot on the mirror 
I'll choose that spot right there and stick a pin into and I'll do it uh, again I'll get my sighting pin and I'll align find the location of the reflection so that all three are in a straight line now you gotta label these so you don't forget what's what the first one there was the first one and the first one and now the second time I did it there's the second one and the second one and we're gonna do it three times so I'll pick another spot on the mirror there we go and once again I will find the location on the paper there we go and I'll label that three and three now we're ready to trace the path the light is taking so I can go ahead and remove the mirror now and remove the pins and now I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to from my object point to my first sighting pin that's the path the light is taking to get to the mirror and then it reflects off the mirror and comes out to my second sighting pin that I've labeled number one now my eye is over here it thinks light travels in a straight line so it thinks the light is coming from somewhere over here along this line so I'm going to go ahead and draw that path inside the mirror that my eye thinks the light is coming from that direction okay now I'm going to do it again for number two there's the path the light takes to get to the mirror and then it reflects off the mirror and comes to my eye right there and my eye thinks it's coming from that direction okay and then number three I'll do it again here we go and it reflected off the mirror to that spot right there but again my eye thinks it's coming from this direction so I'm going to go ahead and extend that line all the way back here and now you can see where these three lines intersect is right over here and that's where my image appears to be so this is the mirror right here this is the object side there's my object and inside the mirror is my image For step nine, I'm going to arrange my two mirrors at right angles to one another so that they're both mirrored images facing each other. And I'm going to mark a spot in there where I'm going to place my object nail. And the reason you mark it is in case it falls down, you can put it back in the exact same spot again later. So there we go. I've set up my, my object nail. And now, using the parallax method, I'm going to find the location of the image in the mirror. Alright, I found that one, and I'll mark it. And then I'll do it again in this mirror. I got it. Then mark my image. And don't forget to mark where the mirrors are. <laughs> 